my question is more about open AI, being open, but actually very close model versus deep sea and all the upstarts engaging the open models. Who's gonna win in five years? The answer is both. And the reason for that is this. Um, <clears throat> the benefit of, of closed is that you can run very, open sourcing something is not easy. You know, welcoming somebody into your closet, before you welcome somebody into your closet, you gotta organize it. You know what I'm saying? But if you if you just want to focus on, you know, getting your job done, you don't have, your closet could be as dirty as you want, as messy as you like. And so, open sourcing is not an easy thing to do. It requires a lot of coordination and discipline. And you're also developing in plain sight, and it's hard to move fast. So I I think that there's 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 a there's a fine reason for for closed technology. Um, <clears throat> however, there's no question that DeepSeek was a great gift to to, to, to the world. A great gift. It's the world's best. It, has, it, it happened at a time when AI was able to reason and the capability of AI achieved very high quality. It's kind of like the iPhone 3. It achieved a level of capability, bang, took off. You know, the first couple of versions were kind of, you know, but all of a sudden they got everything together, it came, took off. DeepSeek is kind of that version.